All right, so the next simple operation which you must know is, assume I have an array like this, okay? So you have to reverse this array, you have to reverse it. So how are we going to reverse it? Well, it's uh, very, very simple guys. All you have to do is take one pointer, keep it at the first element. Take one more pointer, keep it at the last element. So I'm calling this as J. How are you able to think? So I is here, J is here. Now, if I have to reverse an array, what should happen is, the first element should come to the last element. This element should come here. This element should come here. Their position should get swapped. So, ith position element should get swapped with jth position element. That's all you have to do. And that's what I am also telling. Swap. What to swap? AR of i with AR of j. That's all you have to do. Okay. So, let us assume I will swap them. Okay. So, if I swap them, then this 2 and this 14 will get swapped. 14 will come here. 2 will come here. Very good. But it's not completely reversed. So what I will do is, I will move i forward. I will move j backwards. So if this must happen, what should your code be? i plus plus j minus minus. Increment i, decrement j. Okay. Again, swap. So if in case I swap, now 4 and 12 will get swapped. Would you agree? After that, increment i decrement j again swap so 6 sorry 6 and 10 get swapped how are you able to think increment i decrement j okay so here obviously what i have to uh, now be now there is no need to swap as such because swapping will happen with itself i -th element with j -th element is 8 and 8 will be there only after which what will happen is j decrements, i increments. If that happens, you will notice the next time j has become uh, lesser than i or i has become greater than j. So that is your termination condition. So when should this happen? This should happen as long as, as long as means while your i value is less than or equal to j value. How are able to think? Till then, this loop should keep repeating. This is the simple way to reverse an array. Now you can see 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. It has got reversed. Any confusion till this point of time? That's all there is to it. Let's go write some code. Very simple. I have a function called as reverse. It is going to reverse the uh, array for me. So what I will do is, uh, just write the simple logic. So I will tell i equal to 0, int i equal to 0, and uh, j equal to the last index. So j is equal to ar dot length minus 1. That is how you get the last index, okay? Next, I will tell as long as uh, i is less than j is enough. Because equal to condition, nothing happens, right? Equal to means i and j are the same position. Swapping means it will be there only. So it doesn't matter. Less than is enough. So I will come there and I will now uh, do the swapping. So for that, I will create a temporary variable. And uh, in that, whatever is there inside ar of i, I will store it inside t, okay? Next, uh, whatever is there inside AR of uh, I into AR of I, I will store whatever is there in AR of J. Next, to AR of J, I will store whatever is there in temp. This is simple swapping of two variables using a temporary variable. I'm sure all of you understand this, right? And after that, I have to increment I, decrement J. That's it. That's it. There's not, no need to return anything. Why? Because those of you who have been revising Java properly know that arrays are objects. Now, if I go to my main method and if in case I call my function reverse, if I call my, don't leave space, if I call my function reverse and if in case I pass my array AR, now what you are passing is the reference. It is passed by reference, which means the AR here and the AR here, both are pointing to the same array. Operation is happening on the same array, which means this array, after this call, would have got reversed. How are you able to think? Now, to prove that to you, before reversing, I'll just print the elements in my array. So, I'll just run a loop and I will just tell sys out AR of i. Okay. And uh, you can leave a space after that. Yeah. 
Now I'm using print so that it comes one next to the other. I'll copy that, paste it uh, below reverse. So before reversing, after reversing, I just want to show you how it looks like. Okay. So if in case I now, uh, you know, just execute it, you can clearly notice that, uh, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. So it has got. Great. Let's look at more such operations.